So we have a heat of the Britannia Challenge Go. Trophy between the Bayer Leverkusen Club on the left of your shot and Tideway Scullers on the right. And here we see these cocked boards with that extra weight in the front of the boat winding themselves up to speed. So we saw them getting away from the start there and it was close at the top of the island. We're coming to Forley, still pretty much locked together. What a great race. It was a fab race. By Leverkusen beating Vesta Rowing Club yesterday. Gets a strong tide with Scullers crew. And it's always interesting having these international crews coming across because the national crews, the tide with Scullers based down next to Chiswick Bridge in London, don't necessarily know the speed of these foreign international crews coming across. So it's, it's always a it's always a new one. It's probably a bit scary to sit on the start to wonder how fast each other are. Well, absolutely. You race on that domestic circuit and you see who your competition are at home, and then suddenly you find yourself coming to Henley, who's come along, and Bayer Leverkusen are here. Bayer Leverkusen, a little bit of steering issues there. John Hedger went for his, his flag early, it's pushed them back onto their station, and they look like they're doing OK now. They've responded to that call from the umpire, which is all important. Tidewitz Scullers Cox there, Freya Lovric Kemp is willing her guys on to stay in touch with this German crew. Can they keep the pace up? It's come past the three quarters of a mile marker there. Well, it looks to me like Tideway Scholars just look to push it on there already, that they're going to start to go for home early. They've probably come through about the mile post now um, by a Leverkusen crew. They won the Brit uh, as a club back in 2016, and uh, this is a strong-looking crew. They'll be expecting to win this, and they've got a good, tough race on their hand with Tideway Scholars here on this Thursday quarter-final. Kieran Brown, the stroke man of Tideway Scholars crew, though, seems to up the road a little bit there, Greg, and I think they... They look quite physical coming back alongside this Bayer Leverkusen crew, coming, pushing down towards enclosures. Well, it looked like an early move, didn't it? We had that head-on shot and they suddenly went for it. They thought, right, we're not going to wait till we're in the grandstand. Like you say, Kieran Brown in the stroke seat, went for it, let's move it on. The crew all took it up together and, and they look like they're coming, going for home and they're just getting to the beginning of the enclosures. I think this looks like it's closed down, probably about half a length now, the crew from Bayer Leverkusen. They're going to be coming through this quiet phase where those uh, those bushes are on the side. And just a few people walking, then they'll come to the grandstand. The grandstands are getting pretty busy now. There's going to be a good bit of noise um, as they come into, this, uh, into the enclosures into the last two minutes or so. And what can they do with the roar of the crowds now? Who's going to really take hold of this race and push their bad ball ahead? It's really tight and really too close to call with 300 metres to go. Well, we saw the back of Nicholas Major there in the bare seat of the Bayer Leverkusen crew. He and Marius Koch in front of him both have competed in the German under-23 team back in 2017. Now they're looking to get themselves here into the next round in this Henley race, as we see them now moving together, being called forwards, pushing it up. Still plenty of racetrack left, still plenty to go on in this really exciting heat of the Britannia Challenge Cup. Scholars might get a little bit of a Home crowd advantage. Can they change gears and move up to this Bayer Leverkusen crew, who I think have just got the lead right now? Well, Scholars went for it early. It looked to me like Bayer Leverkusen slightly held their nerves, slightly held that push that Scholars made early. Now Bayer Leverkusen look like they're now all of a sudden, just in the last few strokes, kind of putting the hammer down, picking the rate up, still looking long and strong coming towards this camera on the progress board. Yeah, they sneaked ahead and they pulled out to a length. That's a hard task to row in now the last 100 metres or so, knowing you've given it your all, but you've been beaten by a better crew. Well, they're coming down towards the line here, as we see this crew from Bayer Leverkusen, experienced as a club within the Britannia Challenge Cup. They're going to cross the line just in front of that brave crew from Tideway Scullers, who went for it extremely early, but it came back to bite them at the end. This crew stayed calm, and confirmation of that win for Bayer Leverkusen in the Brit.